Welcome everyone to the full list of figure collectibles for the third Spider-Man installment in the Marvel Cinematic Universe Spider-Man No Way Home. As Tomorrow Nations have released a teaser for their upcoming releases and you can take a look it does read Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man and The Amazing Spider-Man which pretty much reveals that they will be releasing the two other Spider-Mans from the universes which is great news as I've always had these two in my top 10 wish list alongside the villains and we're going to finally get them. So I'm going to first discuss the Tomorrow Nations SH figure arts who have the No Way Home line itself and we're going to start off with the integrated suit which is the exclusive one for this film, The Final Fight. You can also pick up the black and gold suit which is the latest release as well as the upgraded suit which is the follow up from the previous film Far From Home. Of course for this figure you can also pick up the Far From Home edition although there are some slight changes to the joint and paint. We also know we have the Iron Spider suit, which I think the best option would be to pick up the Avengers Endgame Final Battle Edition, or your other option would be to pick up the Infinity War one. And the same goes for Doctor Strange, there's a few versions to go for, uh, the Infinity War Battle on Titan, or the original Infinity War, and you can also pick up the Solo Movie Edition. And next up is Medicom Mafex, who are another popular company now when it comes to the 112 scale superhero lines. Uh, nothing has been announced yet for this film, but of course we can discuss the current figures they have. So for the Iron Spider, you can go for the Endgame version or the Infinity War edition. And of course you can also go for a Doctor Strange Infinity War, which will be released very soon. And all these different accessories really give it that edge over the other companies. There's also the Spider-Man upgraded suit from the Far From Home movie. And of course we can discuss the Amazing Spider-Man himself. Uh, the fun fact, this was the Mafex number one, the Amazing Spider-Man with the gold eyes. But of course, we need to go for the Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit, which means you can pick up either the original Brox or the Deluxe Edition, which has a lot more accessories and the unmarked Peter Parker head sculpt. For Mezco, you can pick up the upgraded suit from the Far From Home line. And this figure is almost a complete set with plenty of web accessories, alternate head sculpts, as well as a stand. And next up is Hasbro Marvel Legends, probably the most popular brand for Marvel and the most affordable prices and huge range of characters. So for the new film, we already have the integrated suit, the black and gold suit, as well as the upgraded one. And this time with the Peter Parker head sculpt, of course, you can also pick up the Far From Home figure. And then for Doctor Strange, you can also pick up the latest No Way Home edition. And it's the same for Jonah Jameson. And then for Doctor Strange himself, you can also pick up the previous editions from Infinity War, like the free pack with Thanos and Iron Man, as well as his solo movie edition. And then for the Iron Spider suit, of course, we can pick up the Infinity War edition. There's also been other releases in Asia with Endgame with a different packaging and different build of figure. And you can also pick up the Infinity War 2 pack with Iron Man. And then the only time you can pick up a MJ is the Marvel Legends 2 pack with Spider-Man. And it's the same for Happy Hogan. And we also have some amazing Spider-Man 2 figures and uh, you can see from the packaging these are the old style Hasbro releases and this is your opportunity to get a Marvel Legends Spider-Man as well as the Electro. Hasbro have also released basic versions of Spider-Man with some core accessories and the arm mask version and they've also included a lizard and this is of course included in the larger scale versions. And then speaking of larger scale versions there's also the 12 inch figures for the new film as well. Uh, these are more for the kid-friendly toys and you can get a integrated suit as well as the black and gold suit and you also have some of these different figures as well the smaller scale ones which include different weapons and now for toy biz the company before hasbro took over the marvel line and a lot of people will remember the classic raimi line which of course is for the spider-man toby Maguire version and this was actually the first figure i got for these films at the time and Toy Biz went on to make almost every version of the Spider-Man with a different setting and accessory. You can also pick up a Doctor Octopus and Green Goblin. And of course, both of these figures also came in multi-packs. Going back to Hasbro, although these are not Marvel Legends, we got the Spider-Man 3 Tobey Maguire figures, which included a range of characters like Spider-Man, Doctor Octopus and Green Goblin. The figure could also build a Sandman, and there was also a solo version of Sandman, and it also included a symbiote suit figure which included one as well and then for a diamond select we have the marvel select range uh, not quite the brand that fits into the previous figures i discuss but they are slightly taller and you can pick up the far from home spider-man there's also a doctor strange for a solo movie 
and looking at the bases, this is what the figures are unique about them. You can also collect the Amazing Spider-Man line, which had various versions of the Web Slinger, including the Armrest version. And then there's also your chance to get a Lizard figure. And this is one of the benefits of the larger scale characters with Select. I feel that they do fit into your Legends or your Mafex line. And some people may not know, Revolte also gave us a Spider-Man figure for 2002. And this may be worth considering if you can't get hold of the Toy Biz line. And now let's move on to the 1-6 scale Hot Toys. And announcements have been made for the integrated suit. There's also a special edition. And of course these look great with those diorama bases which include the Dr. Octopus tentacles and the Green Goblin pumpkin bombs. And they've also got the black and gold suit which again looks amazing with the colours and plenty of accessories including the Peter Parker head sculpt. And they've also announced a Dr. Octopus as well as Green Goblin. And you can of course go back to the previous films for the upgraded suit for Far From Home. And then for the Infinity War you can pick up the Iron Spider. As well as Doctor Strange from the Infinity War edition. Or you can go for the newly announced No Way Home edition. We also have the Amazing Spider-Man 2, the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. And also Hot Toys is the only company to have all three Spider-Mans in the same line as they also released the original Spider-Man from the Spider-Man 3 2007 movie. You can also pick up the Black Symbia suit and this includes the Sandman diorama. And of course you can also for Hot Toys pick up some Cosbaby figures. And to round off this collection you may also be into Funko Pops with the Pop Finals. For the No Way Home line we can get characters we normally don't see that often like MJ and Ned. And of course, they also have versions for The Amazing Spider-Man 2, which includes Spider-Man and Electro. And if you're into Lego, it does sometimes reveal some plots, but you can pick up some of the play sets. So that's my list of figures you can pick up to build your own Spider-Man No Way Home display. Were there any other companies I missed out? You can comment down below. And even though it's difficult to pick up some of these figures, I would be patient, as this year I believe the likes of Hasbro, Bandai, Mayfax and Mezco will be releasing figures based on the actual movie. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.